obviously a great deal of expectations for you from the staff. Just how do you handle that? Um, I mean, I handle it just waking up every day with a mindset to get better. Uh, no matter if the ex expectations is good, no matter if they're bad, like, I don't really pay attention to any of that stuff. I, I wake up with a mindset to get better and just be a great uh, leader for all my uh, teammates. And that's about it, bro. Coach Cooler praised your progress here being attributed to maturity. Yeah, where does that come from? Um, I walk with Jesus Christ, uh, for real. Just walking in humility, just trying to be humble and just knowing that I didn't get here by myself. He gifted me with the talents and the ability, but I have to steward them gifts well. And I have to work hard every day. The talent won't get you there. But hard work, mindset will. So I wake up every day with that on my uh, mind. And every day I try to get better and I try to find something to work on. So You guys have some young guys like Hugh Jabril and then really young Love guys like Charles, Kai, and so on. Do you try to pass it on to them? Yes, what sir. Of course. Of course, man. Um, but Charles and Kai, them them starting on uh, the scout team and stuff like that, I know they were kind of down a little bit. But I told them, well, like, you got to look who's in front of you. Like, learn. Like, I had to do the same thing. Of course, I wasn't on the scout team, but it's just a different situation. Um, I was I, I, I was with a bunch of older guys, and we're, and we're kind of a younger team. Uh, so I just try to tell them, boys, just to work every day. Do not do not get overwhelmed or stressed out because you're not on here and, and and you miss out on getting better so um when i when, when i had told uh, them that i feel like that lifted the weight off their shoulders and uh, you know, and i just try to tell them excited, try to, do not try to be perfect like you're gonna make a mistake you're gonna make a mistake here and there but just try to get better every day and, 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 and like i tell myself find something to get better at each and every day not pout, don't, don't, don't say, oh, coach, why am I doing this and that? Just, just get better every day, and you'll see in the end, and you'll look back and realize, okay, I'm proud of how far I've come. How much have you seen the receivers? You're gonna have to talk nice about the receivers here for a second. But yeah. How much have you seen them grow yes, over the, for the last three weeks? It seems yeah. like they're really starting to make more plays. Yeah, yeah, they are. Uh, like I, like I had told them, no, I think it was last, last week. I was like, I don't know what y'all boys on. I don't know what type, of, I don't know what type of supplements y'all on. <laughs> so, <laughs> but nah, man. Over, over these past weeks, them guys have grew tremendously, and I'm and, and, and I'm proud of them going going into the game because that's that's what you want to see going uh, into a game. Week. So, I mean, I'm proud. It feels like Kentron, maybe, is yep, really yep. going to come on and, and make yep. some plays. Most stuff, yeah. And um, early on, uh, Tron, Tron was a little bit banged up. Um, but him back uh, now, uh, full speed is, is just good for me and good and, and good for all the um, DBs. Tron, I, I tell everybody, if you let Tron get a hand on the ball, he will catch it. So when I go against him in one-on-one, -on -one, Skelly, team, I try to be on my P's and Q's. So I know if he gets a hand on the ball, his, his, his hand is big. So uh, if you get a hand on the ball, he's going to catch it. So that's going to make me better, and that's going to make everybody else better. So. What stands out about George attack on film and specifically their receivers? Speed. Um, they have a lot of speed. Um, they do. I mean, their route, their route concept, it, it's, it's, it's nothing we ain't seen before. Um, it's, it's not nothing that really jumped out like, oh, we're going to have to. But it's just they have speed, speed, speed. So I feel like all, all DBs going to be on our P's and Q's. We're going to have to read, react, uh, and just trust each other. So that's about it. Now, the safety group behind you, what have you seen out of Shaheen, uh, Conrad, Devontae? And how's their communication been to the cornerbacks and the guys in front of you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it starts in the meeting room. Uh, we communicate in the meeting room when, we, when we're watching films. So when we come out here and practice, it's easy. But I'm confident that they know what they're gonna talk about and I, and I know that I'm gonna listen and I know that they know what they see. So I'm gonna trust what they see and I feel like when you do that, you can make plays. You mentioned Georgia Tech speed, how beneficial is it to practice against guys exactly. with that same speed? Exactly, yeah, and, and, and it's crazy. Uh, I think it was the last interview I said something about our speed, like it's crazy how we're going against a speed type team, uh, week, week zero. So um, it's just crazy how every, everything works. So I feel like it's gonna all work together for our good because man we're going to get speed every day um, so I feel like when we go into the game it would be easier um, so I mean, it's opening week but it's opening week in Ireland yeah. we have this opportunity it's how exciting to get a chance to, to play overseas yeah uh, I I'm very excited. Um, I have never been out of the country before, uh, and it's crazy that my first time I'm gonna be playing a football game, like, like the game that I love and the game that I have, that I that I have a passion for. Uh, so I mean, it's gonna be a um, it's gonna be a blessing overall. So I'm very excited and I'm looking forward to it most definitely. Looks excited about trying McDonald's overseas. What, yeah. what are you excited? About? Yeah, I heard that. I looked at him kind of crazy. McDonald's. We got McDonald's down here. I don't know. I don't know what's the difference, but. Uh, <laughs> Hey man, I had to. <laughs> but, uh, I really don't know what to do. Uh, I mean, 
I, I heard they food a little sketchy. Uh, if you watch it in Ireland, I ain't trying to you hear me, but I heard they food a little sketchy, so I might I, I might have to bring my own hot sauce or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, nah, but one thing I am looking forward to is like the views, because I, I heard they got crazy views, and I heard they got crazy land and stuff like that, so I'm I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Yes, in the weather, too? It's going to yeah, be a high yeah. of like 62 Yeah, yeah, and I, and I heard it's going to be a, a little like drizzling or raining a little bit, so I'm Hopefully it's not dry, uh, raining too much, but I'm looking forward to it. Has your brother ramped up the trash talk? <sighs> he did. I actually called him the other day. I had called him. I'm like, hey, because I, I was just curious. I'm like, hey, you going to uh, go for us? Uh, <laughs> G-Tech. He said, God. man, G-Tech. I'm, like, I'm, like, I'm like, all right, okay, okay. So, I mean, right now it's a um, battle going <laughs> back and forth, but, I mean, it, it's fun, so it is what it is.